Oh, we're hey, back. we're back. A dinosaur up? story. Woo! Remember that one, guys? Never seen that story. What'd you say? We're back. A dinosaur story. No. Okay. Must be some well, Disney stuff. Sorry. Let's cut that and redo it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Alrighty then. So, we are going to talk, believe it or not, about two movies. One I thought was great, and it wasn't. Another one that uh, was great. I mean. And you thought it was? We'll get into that. First of all, the bad movie. I always say, start, wait, do you think we should start with a good one first? Really good. Let's lose. start with a good one first. We're anybody. going to talk about Strange Brew, okay? Great movie. Oh, Great movie. Yeah. All-time classic. Amazing. Um, and we're going to talk about Spies Like Us, who, uh, spoiler alert, wasn't as good as I remembered. And I don't even remember it being that good. <laughs> That's funny how that works. Isn't it? That's yeah, um, weird. So, uh, where, I mean, where do you even begin? I guess with Strange Brew. Right? Let's jump right into it. Let's just let's jump. I'm gonna, yeah, let's go ahead first. Uh, yeah. Strange Brew filmed in 1984. Uh, yeah, 83? Yeah. Was it 83? Yeah. Well, shoot. Well, my intel's wrong, clearly. I gotta <laughs> cut. Let's retake cut, that. Cut, 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 <laughs> cut that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, filmed in 83. Uh, let's see. There was an original skit on SCTV, mm-hmm. uh, which is they, they, it's kind of like one of those Saturday Night Live things, but in Canada. Yeah, and, like uh, Wayne's World. John like Wayne's Candy World. Yeah, that, the, the whole idea Before of it was like Wayne's, Wayne's World. World. You know, that's the the thing for the show. And yeah, uh, yeah John Candy was from there. Yeah, yeah, good call. Also a classic. Uh, oh yeah, I, <clears throat> he's in a. Was it him? I was just going to tell you about a movie that he kept giving me ads for. It Canadian and, bacon. Was it Rick no. Moranis? No, no. Oh. Dan Aykroyd's in it. Chevy Chase is in it, and it's like a weird haunted movie. Mm. Um. There's like an old crippled guy in it that I think. Scary movie. It's not scary. It's, 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 no, I'll figure it out later. No, I don't know. He uh, keeps recommending it to me, and I'm like, man, mm. I, mean, I know I've seen it once. But anyway. Anyways, that's not Strange yeah. Brew. That's neither here Strange nor there. Strange Brew, written and directed by both Rick Moranis and Dave Thomas. The Wendy's guy. Yeah, well, not that I know. His twin of. brother with the same name. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he did a great job with beer. He did a great job with, uh, you know. Non frozen patties, and that's yeah. the big thing about Wendy's. They yeah. never freeze their patties, you know. Sure, they're cut like squares, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, who knows? 12 yeah. original spices. No, that's the that's a that's the kernel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, anyway, the soul. Um, the, the whole synopsis of the movie is uh, they are filming a movie at the beginning, and uh, it's their movie for you know, um, uh, I don't even know what it's about. Oh, it's. <laughs> They're only got an alien planet or something. It's so crappy, you remember? Are you friendly? No way, eh? R- radiation has made me an enemy of civilization. Alpha base. Yeah, so they're they're filming a movie, and then the movie gets messed up, and apparently the entire crowd says, oh, they did that in their last movie. So, I mean... <laughs> he sets off the, the, the case of moths to go up to the protector. <laughs> yeah. He said that's how you get a free movie. Just right. Well, that's what it was they said that was in their last album, was the... Uh, the putting the mouse in the beer, yeah. right? Because <laughs> yeah. they were trying to kill time because they had a because of malfunction, kind of yeah. like we just had, you know. Yeah, that's exactly. a, wh- why didn't you guys think about that? Well, we're having a malfunction, is right. you could have got the mouse in the beer and told, Oh, this is how you get free donuts, eh? You just <laughs> speaking of the mouse in the beer, did you know that they um they were originally supposed to film some stuff in some local breweries? Oh, yeah, they didn't want any of that. And then after they heard the skit about the putting a mouse in a beer, then oh. going to the brewery, taking it to the brewery and getting free beer, they were like, <laughs> well, they don't want any part of it. Yep, yep. I, I, it I must happen. You know, they had to rebuild their own too, set and stuff for it. Then they, yeah, they built a whole set. They built their own little uh, beer store. Wow. And they call it the beer store instead yep. of uh, home, it, home brew. Or who, was, like someone that. else. Someone like Molson. Was, no, someone was going to sponsor it. Some Canadian beer. Jeez. <laughs> Burp gave me whiplash. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, once uh, then after the movie got big, they actually renamed their stores to the fake store name. Did they? After they already denied them that's the film. Yeah, what a joke. What a joke. See, yeah. That's why you got, come on, Hollywood. You just got to take a chance, you know? Life imitating yeah. take a art chance. right there. Take a chance. Um, but anyways, they, they're filming a movie. It fails. Uh, everyone walks out. They then, uh, they're de- they spent, mo- they gave a guy a refund. One guy, <laughs> they gave a refund of $15. Uh, there's... Uh, the dad wanted. They went back home. Their dad wanted beer, and uh, they had to go out and get beer. They already they gave that fifteen dollars to that kid in the alley as a refund for yeah, the movie. For the watch, right. Yeah, exactly. So for now they didn't have the beer money for the dad. Yeah, yeah to go get beer. So yeah. the dad's like, go to the brewery and get it. So they go to the brewery, 
And that's where the chaos ensues. You know, they they tried to the little mouse in the the mouse in the beer gag, just like they showed in their own movie. <laughs> totally worked. And uh, yeah, that it's funny because and they uh, said, "Is this is this even possible?" And they were like, "Well, <laughs> there was a time when we had men on the bottling line. So this thing did happen." Yeah. And she's like, "Well, let's get some men on the bottling line." Yeah. Next right. thing you know, oh yeah. So they run into, <laughs> literally run into the uh, the main, I guess the. The female lead in it, uh, the she's daughter. the daughter of the, the beer, the heir to the yeah, the heir to the throne at, Pam, of the uh, beer Pam, company, Pam Elsner, Elsnor, yeah, of the Elsnor beer company. Yeah. I mean, you know, shout out to Elsnor. One of us isn't repping. Oh, That's okay though. That's okay. Um, Sorry, I have a onesie. It's almost as good. It's close. It's close. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so she's stuck in the fence for God knows why, and they're like, oh, we got a ram. Like, there's like electricity flying, <laughs> blasting out, and so do you remember that? Which it's like was electrical like currents like blasting out. Oh, right when she's up at the gate. Yeah, so like, no, we, got the gate. <laughs> we got a remmer from behind it. Which is weird. <laughs> she's stuck in the gate that's electrified, which is how her dad, well, he didn't really die that way, but. Spoiler alert. Uh-oh. Well, I guess. Oh, there's going to be spoilers spoiler. on this one oh, because yeah. it's so old. <laughs> yeah. But Who cares? Anyway. Who cares, eh? Moving Anyways, on. they ram her through, and uh, <laughs> the rest of the, the movie, uh, Doug is calling her whiplash every time he talks to her. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, Bob wouldn't, uh, Bob and Doug are the two main characters, uh, and Bob wouldn't drive. He's like, he's like, no way, I'm not going to drive. Uh, like if I if I give her whiplash, she tries to sue us. Yeah, yeah. And so he makes his br- little brother do it. <laughs> so he does it and rams it through her, until I don't know you guys. <laughs> There's so many. His character, Dave, Dave Thomas's character, Bob, is like the older brother. Is mm-hmm. five, like obviously Rick Moranis plays it amazing too. It, it, they. Their charisma together is awesome. Oh, it's amazing. But Dave's character is such a, like a conniving, like quick on his feet, just always think like a scheme, like just scheming constantly. <laughs> I, like, thought the, I thought Rick Moranis was uh, Bob. Is that who it is? I thought yeah. Doug was maybe Doug you're was right. the older one. Oh, mm-hmm. we'll have to check. Do I have, well, I got like misinformation. That. It changes everything. Yeah, I got, I got uh, big time misinformation here. I'm going to have to check yeah, out my, Bob, Bob. my wiki links here. Yeah. Doug WikiLeaks. was the older brother. Yeah. Doug was Doug, older. Doug was the older guy. Bob seems like an older brother's name, you know? Yeah. I just, I don't know. Little, Bob, anyway. little Bobby. Little Bobby. It's, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Awesome, though. Yeah, they, yeah. They're, he's such a, like, conniving, like, just like a, everything he does is like a scheme. Like, yeah. When they go, like, there's a part where they go to jail because they get falsely uh, accused of, you know, causing all this stuff, kidnapping people. and mm. Yeah, there's, there's a whole lot to the story. I mean, the story's kind of all over the place. My friend uh, Caleb here just told me it's, Similar to Hamlet, because there's like a bunch of little things that they kind of throw in there to make it like Claude and Claudius and stuff like you're yeah. saying. And I I never realized that. I think it's hilarious. Like, it's yeah. awesome. There's a lot of ties. Yeah. There's a lot, of ties, like a lot of ties to ha- Hamlet. And then also, also, they had somebody else originally write the script. Oh, really? And then they, huh. they didn't even, they didn't like it. The studio didn't like it. And they said, no, this doesn't represent you guys, the show that everybody loves, you know. And so they had th- they wanted them to write it, and yeah, they probably didn't have enough Canadian love in it because uh, they, clearly the thing was all about Canada. You know, it's like yeah, from the dog's name to hockey, everything. yeah, hockey. Uh, oh yeah, uh, all over. Ho- yeah, it's all about hockey. Obviously, he's wearing a, a knit cap that says Canada on it and stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, kind of a love let love letter to uh, Canadians up there in the Great White North. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I was looking for. I, I guess I didn't bring it when I moved, but I had the uh, figures. Uh, oh yeah, of of Bob and Doug, and like the, the it's like a figures, whole yeah, yeah the action figures from uh, Todd McFarlane toys. Oh yeah, I still have them somewhere, but they're probably up in the back at home still. But man, that was. Anyways, I guess what some a good, good comedies movie. coming out of Canada. There's a uh, that that one TV um, that one TV show. I can't remember. Help me out with the name of it. It was a uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> very similar concept. A uh, bunch hmm. of kind of going nowhere people in a small town, Fort Kenny Fort. Something. Oh, uh, Kenny. Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny. Yeah, that's a great show. Oh, yeah. yeah, and that spawned uh, Shorzy, the hockey one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's they actually love, in this last season now. Love their hockey. Yeah, Canadians love their hockey. It's not much. They I mean, sure it's do. all frozen. What yeah. else are you gonna do? You right. can't play football on ice. You know, it hurts something. Mm-hmm. You might as well just skate around. It's, I mean, hockey is close to football. Did you guys see Canadian Bacon with uh, John Candy? Many years ago. Love that movie. The, the one scene I remember from that is the part where he's walking down the hill. Uh, to they, They're chasing someone and trying to mm. get away. And he's, like, running down a hill to catch up to someone. And he's, like, shoving all these people. Out. He's like, get out of the way. Move. And they're all, like, flying down the hill. They're like, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, like, they're apologizing as they're being shoved out of the way. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's been uh, a long time since I've seen it, but 
at the this is another one of those like at the time I remember it, and I still remember it being funny. It, if I see it now, is it still gonna be funny? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. that's it's just yeah. like we're uh, gonna get into that. Oh yeah, later. we'll get in that when we talk about spies like us because that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny when they, uh, in Strange Brew though when they go in there first get to the brewery go in there f- to get information from the secretary right. And uh, they were just trying to score some free beer, right? They were just trying to get yeah. some free beer and stuff. And they were like, oh, yeah, we we're here. To, we had an appointment with the uh, the owner. That here. guy. <laughs> the, the guy in the picture there. Like, oh, he's deceased. Yeah, we made the appointment before before he was deceased. <laughs> when did he die? Yeah, yeah, when did he die again? <laughs> that was so funny. And then she's like, obviously, like, annoyed. And then uh, they were like, well, maybe this will change your mind. And they whip out a donut. And it's like, <laughs> obviously, and they may be like, get out of here. And she's like. Well, and then she goes into like giving them tips. And, and and then, like, but there's a daughter, and then they're like, "Oh, what's her name?" Yeah, that's yeah. A, yeah. That's Offer so a, a jo- give like, a second donut, and then she finishes her story. It's like it's so fun. That was great. How Bob didn't want to give up the second yeah. donut. It's, it's a jelly. <laughs> the last one. And he takes it out of his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, pocket donuts are pretty great. You know, all warm. Yeah, still. If, yeah, uh, maybe bakery. Even, yeah. Bakery fresh, mm-hmm. you know? I'm pretty sure all these came out of a pocket. For sure. Yeah, someone's. Someone's pocket. Let's cook. Shout out to uh, Round Rock Donuts in Round Rock, Texas. They're you not know, sponsoring us. They should be. How they should know? be. They should be. I know. They we got to talk to people. Well. Let's talk. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Round Rock Donuts. Come on. Let's talk. Come on. Now, Brew by, Brewmeister Smith in Strange Brew. Yes. Max Von Sydow. Apparently, they wrote that part. Um, based on him, yeah, because they thought he'd be like the perfect, but they never thought they'd get him in the movie, right? Oh. And then it, they, it's just like some, I, yeah, it's just reading that, like, uh, is it just so happened that the guy, like, one of the producers on their film or something, just happened to work with him at like mm-hmm. the last film and had his number, and he's like, hey, like, do you want to do this? And they offered it to him, and he's like, I don't know if I want to fly out there to do that. And then he yeah. told his son about it, and his son loved SCTV, the what. You know, yeah. the whole skit was based on and uh, that's how it happened. He just liked it so oh, yeah. much. His son liked it so much that it 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 happened. And he was a know? perfect character. He was. Oh, yeah. So he played it great. A Brewmeister Smith. It's exactly who you <laughs> picture if you hear that name. Yeah. Meister oh, Smith. yeah. I like, love how he just bullied everybody. He was like slapping the <laughs> Like even the yeah, owners and stuff. Yeah. yeah everybody like, just takes it. Yeah, it you just, just he has some superhuman strength, though. <laughs> he, like, oh, when he was fighting, uh, he, like, lifted Claude off the ground by his ear, like off the. Oh ground. yeah, there's no, there's and a part cr- cracked his head. He said, like, "Crush." He's like, "I could crush your skull." <laughs> and you hear his cracking. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> but there's a part oh, just to go onto that that I, it just brought back a fl- uh, flashback when he's fighting, uh, uh, Rosie, the the yeah. the main basically the, the good guy of the, of the whole thing. Uh, the, he's Rosie comes to the hockey stick and he's fighting him. And do you remember what happens? He gets pushed into the the, uh, oh, the, yeah. the the rail, and he rips the metal rail off the side of the thing and starts fighting him with it. And they're like sword fighting with a hockey stick and a giant oh, metal rail man. that he just ripped off the railing because apparently he's like I don't know what's ins- up. With it. It's like one of those things that you know there's no answer to. They're yeah, it's just a like, stupid. You just have to assume this. Like the whole thing with the ghost dad, like the electric ghost dad that's yeah. in the computers of the place. Yeah, it's like what what's yeah. that all about? It's kind of right. weird. That's but really weird. Whatever. I just don't ask. Don't ask questions. Just, there's so you know. much I really love about that movie. Like, I think the there's so many great lines and oh, yeah. so many great parts in it that are and it's quotable like crazy. I would guess that the funniest parts in it, like the mo- the the majority of it, was just Rick Moranis and Dave Thomas just ad libbing it all, like just going. That's what I would think because it seemed like they're just like you could tell they're in their own zone yeah. and like all the funny stuff. I bet was just made right on the spot. You well, know? that yeah. opening scene that was a one shot all the way through. I was waiting for a cut or an edit. There was nothing with the lion, and then on they're on their on the their show and stuff. That was all one take. Well, they filmed that in three B. <laughs> <laughs> three beers. Man, that just <laughs> that was great. We I had, had a quiz for you, and you just answered oh. one of the questions. <laughs> all right, I got a quiz for you. Oh, what, what's the name of their dog? Hosehead. Oh, was easy. That? Yeah. No, I told you it was gonna be easy, but yeah. that was just a little. Uh, Supposed to be an intro. I was gonna give you a couple of quizzes. But yeah, yeah. That's the only one I wrote down. Then I'll, I might as well. Yeah, here. I'll, I'll jump to my quiz for you guys. Then, okay. okay? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you already answered one of them. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, here's a good one. You, if 
I don't know if Andy will get this one, but we'll see. This is a very specific part. Although you destroyed him last week in Thank the birds. Thank you very much. Thank I, you very much. Thank you. Give give credit okay. where it's credit to. I thought for sure you're going to clean the streets with a— uh, Well, i got to give other people opportunities. That's though. true. That's very nice of you. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like Jordan actually passing the ball for once, you know? Yeah. Good for you. Uh, all right, question number one. How many times did Doug see the movie Star Wars? 17. Bam, got it. 17. Wow. <laughs> Applause. Very good. I was wondering if you're going to get that one. That's very oh, yeah. good. All right. Uh, question number two What was the dog's name? Hose head. Very good. Mm-hmm. I'll give myself a point for that. <laughs> uh, question number three uh, What the, fo- the movie is not filmed in uh, 3D, but in 3B. 3B, 3 beers. Yeah. All right. Uh, here's a tough one. Andy, you can. I'll give uh, triple points for this one. Oh, okay. Nice. Triple points, so you can walk away. Me and Caleb are tied oh, at one apiece. Okay. <laughs> you can walk away either tied or or just walk away a winner. Uh, right, throw it in there. What? Uh, who did? Well, I should ask you the whole the guy's whole quote. You'll never get his full name. Uh, Gene LaRose was the player, the hockey player, the, the good guy character. Rosie. He's Rosie, right. They just called him Rosie. So you know, yeah, I, I didn't even Rosie. know his name was uh, Gene LaRose. Yeah. But the question is... He was a former rookie hockey player who got messed up by drinking that beer. He went crazy, right? That's the whole thing. Uh, what team did he play for? Dang. Gilb, you can steal this one. That's a great question. It's pretty obvious if you think about it. So if you know anything about hockey, there's not a lot of Canadian teams. There are a few. I have no idea. Get Raz on the phone. <laughs> Raz, help me out. Phone a I'm friend. Gonna, I'm going to phone a friend. <laughs> Caleb, do you know what team did Gene Rosie LaRose play for before he went crazy? It's got to be the Maple Leafs. I, I like that you're going. You're it's a Toronto Maple <laughs> Leafs. I like that you're reaching. No, I don't, uh, I don't know. I know it's not. Uh, I don't know. You're cl- I mean, you're you're in the ballpark. It is a Canadian team. Uh, he played for the Montreal Canadiens. Mm. Mm, never would have got that. Yeah. So that there, that there goes the quiz. Uh, looks like it's a tie as <laughs> usual. <laughs> Although Andy won it last Except week. For last week. Yeah, yeah, me and Caleb will settle on the tie for today. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> let me give you, all right, let me so ask impressed. you a couple. All right, let's hear it. They cut the break line. They told them you have blank two. Two, two, stops. two stops. Hey, I didn't have a chance. And after, I buzzed in. <laughs> Uh-oh. After the thing, after their uh, van sunk to the bottom, the cop said... Ten been minutes. Out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe another ten minutes. Nobody can survive that. Which not, is crazy. Not, Houdini, not even nobody. Houdini. Yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy because Houdini like was he known for holding his way, breath. Right? No, he, he died from being punched in the stomach, a sucker punch. Mm. Uh, but he was known for being able to hold his breath for over fifteen minutes. And today, it's not uh, un- unreal for people to hold their breath for twenty to thirty minutes. It's crazy. I was just watching. It's funny that you say it because I was I just watching know. a video on it uh, just the other day, and it's it's like a routine wow. that people holding their breath underwater for twenty minutes. It's just. Now they have like different things where we're gonna have to get the fact checkers on that. Yeah, I, don't know I believe the world record is like 14 minutes or something like that. Oh, does anyone want to bet? <laughs> I don't know. That just seems weird. What's the wager? I'll bet you two donuts. Uh, I'm on that. I'll take that. I'll <laughs> right. take it. All right. I, uh, yeah. That's You'd a have long to almost time. put that's, yourself into an it's like a coma. I just watched the video of the guy doing it. Where you're like just not even. Even David Blaine tried to do it, and he like had to tap out. No. Well, I'm. I don't doubt that, but he's not like a professional breath holder this guy held his breath now so so they have different ways of doing it they have doing it on natural air just what you breathe and uh on ox- oxygenated air so basically you're getting to breathe <laughs> no 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 no. they just they switch from uh from regular breath to they'll use a oxygen tank to get actual oxygen because oxygen in your blood obviously gives you yeah. more your blood cells more so it's like cheating it's like using steroids, but still breaking the the record for heaviest lift. Yeah, we watched this documentary on like a uh, deep, um, oh boy, deep diving, free free. What's it? Not free soloing, but free water diving, free diving. Okay. Speaking free of which, right here in uh in uh Texas, people yeah. die all the time. Jack's, Jackson's well, is oh, that what it is? No, Jacob. Joshua's. 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 Jacob. Jacob. Jacob's well. Jacob's well. People die all the time there. All kinds of corpses. Crazy. Yeah. Have you ever seen an actual like 3D thing of that whole oh, yeah. thing? It yeah. goes crazy. So deep. Yeah. They don't even know exactly it's where like it goes to either. A big thing. And then it goes like there's some channels come out of it yeah. down into big. Uh, yeah. It's like there's three, three different big cave areas. And people yeah. always get lost in the second one because mm. 
it's it re like reflects the light. Well, they so say yeah, and if you happen to brush up against anything, it kicks up mm -hmm. so much dust you don't you don't know the silt. Yeah. You don't know up from down or anything, and it just and then at that time people usually panic and they kick up even more. Yeah, and that's like the worst thing you could ever do. Is start panicking. That's yeah. why I don't. Let me tell you this, man. Jumped out of airplanes and stuff because I feel like. If you jump out of an airplane, and you splat. You know, it's no big deal. Whatever, it's over. Done. It's over. It's not, you don't got a whole lot of time. I feel like being underwater. Like I drowned once when I was a kid, and it wasn't actually that bad. But that being said, being stuck in a cave. Well, I mean, it's like, underwater. Yeah. No, thank you, man. This, I just, it's just too many things can go wrong. In an airplane, all right, the plane's going down. You already got a parachute. The parachute doesn't work. Well, hey, you had a chance. You know, yeah, you're fun. way that far down there. <laughs> It, there's so many things that can go wrong. Like oxygen just stops working. You yeah. get too much of it. Uh, you rise too fast. You know, you get stuck. Yeah, mm -hmm. suffocating yeah. or drowning has got to be horrible. It's terrible, terrible. No, thank Ooh. you. No, thank you. No, who said it was like? I don't know. The water giving you a big warm hug or something like that. <laughs> it's from some a hug? from some movie. What? Yeah, they said like dying like dying by drowning is like. The, like the ocean give you you know uh, like a hug it's like i don't remember that movie but it's not I untrue know. i i, I did i remember when i was a kid when, when dad you... saved me when he pushed me out on the the whale or alligator fish sand pond or yeah yeah, fish, yeah yeah fish lake beach Is it, yeah 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 so really? yeah we're, that's, that's not the, the whole... way i remember it but go well, on <laughs> <laughs> I, he tried to okay. kill me once it's not a big deal i don't hold it against him <laughs> no uh, he does we're uh I just jumped. We're, I floated too deep in the water. We had like we're on floaty thing, and Andy's like, "Oh, we're getting too deep." And he jumped, he's like, "I'm going back to shore." Yeah. And he jumped off, and when he jumped off, it pushed the alligator even farther out because I didn't go at the time. But it's before either of us could swim very well, right. and uh, he could still hit the ground. He bobbled like back to the thing. To be fair, he is the one that ended up saving. Well, in a roundabout way, he's saving uh, me come too. Come on so now, be factual he, here. Well, I am factual. So he pushed me out farther. <laughs> yeah. But then I was like. I'm holding on to the thing and I'm floating out deeper. And I was like, oh, Tish, you know, like this is getting, mm. I can't swim very good. So I was like, I better go now. But because I yeah. hit like the rope, like the, you know, the, we're not supposed to go past the buoys. Yeah. The buoys. And I was like, yeah. oh boy. So I jumped off and I just, I sunk like a rock. I was like, boom, straight to the <laughs> bottom. And I hit it. And I remember looking up and there's so much water. Like I barely, you know, it's just like, I was just like, boom. Just and I jumped up as hard as I could. And I felt my hands break through the water, but I couldn't, I was trying to pull myself up. And I don't know if there's a dingle octopus down there or whatever, but there must have been because I just couldn't get back up to the top. And I got went up again. I, I feel my head almost get there. I was like, right back down. And I jumped one more time. And I was like, I knew it was the last time. Yeah. I just, bam, like jumped up there. Like couldn't even get my hand out of the way, like, just like a finger. And as I started flowing down, I started blacking out. And I thought to myself, well, <laughs> I tried. You know, it's like. It wasn't that bad. I was I was no longer oh, I was panicked. Man. But when I knew it was my last jump, I was no longer panicked. It was just like acceptance, you know? Yeah. And so I was like, oh, here we go. And I just blacked out. And then all of a sudden I felt like the last thing I remember is like uh blasting out of the water. And clearly not me doing it. And I was already coming out of the water. And my dad had jumped in there and saved me and you know, carried me back out the shore. Hold on a second. Yeah. How did your dad Well, as it turns out, this there. guy Felt bad because I think he did a murder attempt or something. He's like, oh. <laughs> guilty conscience. Yeah. So he ran and got my dad. He's like, he's like, oh, Dan's out there. Is you know he can't swim or drown or whatever. And then my dad. Wow. So the lifeguard yelled at me. There's a lifeguard there. I know what you're thinking. Lifeguard's gonna save you or something, right? There was a lifeguard. She apparently I didn't hear any of this. I was underwater, but she was yelling at me to stop playing around. Is what she said. You know, there's but, some. Yeah. What? Stop. Stop playing out there. Stop playing out yeah. there. I'm dying. And she's yelling at me to stop playing. Luckily, my dad be, didn't, you know. Oh, man. I hate to be a lifeguard, man. You know, kids are always playing around out in the oh, water. Oh, yeah. I'd be, so, I'd be so frustrating all the time. You're like, oh, bunch of punk kids. Yeah. Right, yeah. And I'm sure that's probably what it was. You've probably seen it a million times, yeah. you know. But, but hey. You know, and also, a lot of people nowadays are on their phones. I, I was actually saw somebody live on TikTok the other day. And they're a lifeguard. They were on their lifeguard stand, and they're on their phone chat oh now. No way. And somebody, yeah, people were in the chat were like, uh, "Shouldn't you be watching <laughs> the kids?" Yeah, and they're like, oh, I, they I, I, "I can see them." I'm like, Cha "Oh my god!" Hire any man. teenager just to I'll sit tell you in what that chair for a little bit. Probably what happened is they've seen the movie Sandlot. You yeah. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Oh well, yeah. That's why I applied. Well, anyway, <laughs> speaking of drowning, now in Strange Brew. Oh, they dr he they were in that tank. Well, yeah. See, this is what I didn't like about Strange Brew is it got a little cheesy. It's not like, yes, a lot of it's funny, but some of it's just 
too over dumb, the top. Too dumb to be over funny. Over the top. Yeah. Like when he's drowning, he, you know, they're supposed to be drowning. All of a sudden, you see he drank the whole thing, and he's like massive. Yeah. Like, so for our folks at home that didn't see it, if you haven't seen it yet, yeah. There's a part where they put the brewmeister uh, Smith, Smith puts him in a, a vat of beer as, yeah. as it's filling up, and he's like, ah, uh, you know, you are. You tried to come in here with a mouse in the beer. Now you'll be the mouse. Yeah. And so they start filling the thing up with him and the girl in it. And then she said, wait, this is funny. She says, and he says, and you, and he's talking to her. She says, don't worry about me. I mailed everything I know. I wrote everything out. I know I mailed it to the newspapers. He, and, and Bob McKenzie looked at her. He said, when did you do that? <laughs> anyway. Dear. Don't worry about me, Smith. I wrote everything I know in a letter and mailed it to the newspapers. When did you do that? Very good. So yeah, then the, the vat's filling up, and they're like about to drown. Well, well, they're it's they're like waist high, and she's like, "Oh, did the beer just get warmer?" And he's like, <laughs> yeah. "No, I didn't feel anything." Yeah, <laughs> and then, but and then here he uh, turns out to save them. He drinks all the beer in the they, vat. They opened up the tank. They're like, "Open up this," you know. Whatever. Expecting them to be dead, yeah, and yeah. then expecting this thing to be bl- to blast out liquid to release the beer, it. yeah, and then it was nothing came out, and they're like, we looked in, and it's him. He's like huge, taking up the whole tank, right, right. And then he burps, then the whole tank like blows. It. Yeah, they're of trying to get the him tank out. Doesn't explode. Of course, the end of it just pops yeah. out. You know, they're gonna get, he's was... too big to get out. But both of them were, and he just burps and it blows it off. And, and then there's a fu- what do you know? Then there's a fire, and then he puts out the fire by peeing on the whole thing. Right. And... I'm pretty sure that was taken from Macbeth. No. Say what. <laughs> no, I think that was uh, wasn't it Romeo and Juliet? Yeah, yeah, the urine scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, but uh, you clearly don't know. Sh- I don't know. Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, it's the Wish dot com Shakespeare. Nice. <laughs> Shakespeare. It sounds even better. <laughs> hey, even but, at the end, in some though, ways they, they were like, uh, you know, the storyline was a little weak. Eh? <laughs> when yeah. they were reviewing their own really? movie. Oh yeah. I mean, what it, that kind of stuff was like a little bit too far because. Most of the movie, they are so good together, and yeah, the, the way that I mean, they can just talk, and they're just so funny. Oh, that's the funniest part. Like when oh, he steamrolls him, he's like, "I'm gonna do the steamroller. I'm gonna yeah. do the steamroller." He's like, "No, no." Oh, <laughs> they're in straight jackets because they got they're framed yeah. for the a murder. Yeah, and he's just like steamrolling. They're just like psychotic, yeah. you know. Oh yeah, it's, I like it when they when they spill their dad's beer and they want to blame each other. <laughs> they're like when they were holding the yeah. thing. They're like, "All right, you look go. Go. Like, <laughs> They up. spilled it. They broke the glass. Yeah. And, oh, Oh, hilarious but anyways great movie um if you haven't seen it it's a it's a it's a lesser known movie for sure not a lot of people have seen strange brew yeah i, I mean a, enough that it's definitely a cult classic and hose head all of a sudden he's he, he flies you know he's, skunk, like, yeah. he's like here's the directions and then they're skunk. reading the directions he just flies just knows where to go it's at the end he flies across town well dogs are smart that way they have that they do well why does he do it though because he's always growling he's a mean dog he is a they, very... they sent him on the mission they right? sent him on a mission and well, they, they told him to feed him they went back home because they're in jail yeah. yeah and then he was so angry yeah he was but, about to eat them but they gave him a map and they said there's all you can eat food yeah. and beer oh yeah all you can eat he loved beer too yeah he loved beer yeah so they said all you can eat beer or uh, uh, like sausages and beer because it's oktoberfest so the whole this goes the, back to the whole plan of yeah. the movie is the bad guy is putting drugs in the beer and the beer uh, if you drink it makes you do whatever they say basically yeah mm-hmm. and they just want to do that so you only buy their beer yeah and uh they have, yeah it's a whole lot of crazy mind stuff control and yeah. controlling mind control everyone yeah. and that's the whole idea the, yeah. the whole dang movie the, the beer is contaminated and they're giving it away for free during yeah. Oktoberfest to get everyone to drink yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, so they need to stop Oktoberfest from going on. And that's when they send their dog. And again, it goes right back to slapstick craziness where mm-hmm. the dog just starts running down the street to get to these free sausages, jumps up in the air, yeah. a cape flies off its back, and it just starts <laughs> flying over remember there. Remember when he rolls up the house? <laughs> rolls up the... <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. Oh, that was I think they had too many Elsnores during the writing of that script. Oh, I mean, for sure. See, some of that stuff is funny, and some I'm okay with some of it. Right. And then... Other times, just kind of, but there were some slow parts of that movie too that I kind of got. It. We've talked about that for yeah. years. The middle of the movie is very slow. Yeah, like there's this, like the part when they're in jail and stuff. Like this is way back if you yeah. remember, like around episode three or four or five, whatever we're filming, uh, where I said I fell asleep many times. Said this is the only movie that ever knocked me out. It's because every time we'd watch it, it'd be like two or three a.m. Mm-hmm. and I'd watch the first part and it's hilarious, and that middle part would hit, and man, it just got. <laughs> It's just, it's not that it's bad. Yeah. It's just kind of stale. You know, there's like, not a yeah. lot happens. Uh, there's like a really crappy chase scene and stuff. And like, 
man, I, if it's at 3 a.m. and you know you're just sitting there and you've had one too many Elsners, it's you know <laughs> you you start getting a little foggy eyed, you know. That, or, you know what though, they did have that whole intermission thing. They did. You know? yeah, they That's gave true. you an intermission. So, yeah. Take a nap. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, I gotta. Um, well, you never paused it. I gotta go. Uh, I'll be right back. Something just came up. This guy again with this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't know. Maybe some... you know. I know there's. We talked about some slow parts in there. I know there's. Some, you know, there's some parts where it's over the top, kind of sure. dumb. And also the beginning, I felt was kind of slow. You know? Yeah, it was. It was a little slow. Getting into like, it. Yeah, like the very beginning was funny. Yeah, but, right you know. Then starts... it's like when the whole thing. Well, with they're the trying start... to get into the story, right? Yeah. And like the the part where the bat, like the guys are playing hockey and stuff. It's just yeah. kind of weird. Yeah, you don't know what's going on. You're yeah, just... it's like what, why are these guys playing? All ho- of a sudden playing hockey. Yeah, you don't know what's going on? Weird I mean, effects. Like there's some crazy effects going on. Like stuff, but... complete eighties. Like yeah, like crappy video effects that they're doing. And the which... sound effects. Oh, they're terrible. In many parts of the movie are really bad. Oh yeah, like the part of the organ they play. I don't know what it is about that organ, but I do not like it. The tone and the sound yeah. of that organ. Drives me nuts. And I think maybe oh, I, I had one too many Elsners or something because with the drugs in it. Because <laughs> that tone that. drives me. I just do not like the sound of it. I don't either. I never have. Yeah. I've always thought that was, I don't know. I just I'm glad you agree. That's me. funny. Because it, yeah, I never said anything before about that. But that, yeah, it definitely. Uh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So they play tones and that would make people want to fight or buy beer. That's or they're, they're testing the mind control. They're right. like playing certain noises and it would, people were doing what they wanted them to do. Right. The tone would make them do stuff. Yep. They use these people from this insane asylum to, uh, which happened to be right next door to the beer. Yeah, brewery. Right next so door to the brewery. go figure if that was, if that was the brewery, then that was the, uh, insane yeah, asylum. Like so here's some crap. <laughs> There's a map right there. Well, yeah, I do too. See? Well, I'm going to the brewery, but, uh, I'm taking you to the insane asylum. No way, Hoser, <laughs> <Those are> no, <laughs> uh, no so, way. No way. So the way they just keep he keeps yeah, it's like this whole brother thing, which is hilarious. He's kind of like a bully, but you can tell he like really likes his brother and loves his brother and stuff. Yeah. So uh with that being said, uh yeah, let's, let's throw down a rating. Let's, get let's just get to the here. rating. We gotta uh, get to it. Out of the ten scale. Ten scale, the ten points, yep. the Dewey Decimal System scale. Uh, I'm curious what you guys got for this. I yeah. really am. Um, I've been thinking about... Do this, you, this is a long-term Who classic. should we start this one with? Who do you want to start? We usually start with you, don't we? Yeah. Me? Okay, I'll so, give it a rating. So we'll just, yeah. You're not afraid, are we'll you? Oh, no, no. I, so <laughs> Don't try to base your rating off what I say. <laughs> oh, Tish. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to give it... A seven... Point... Zero. I'll give it a seven. Just seven zero. Okay. Yeah. Uh, f- for the reasons we already said, it's there's a lot of funny things in it. It's definitely a movie w- you can watch it. Not a. I mean, I've seen it probably ten. Well, maybe seven times, seven or eight times. Um, and it's always entertaining. It's always funny. Yeah. Uh, would I want to see it all the time? No. Uh, there, there's like I said, there's the middle part of it is kind of boring. There's stuff that isn't great like the two over the top slapstick stuff but th- them acting together yeah. like in the names they call each other and stuff and hey take off hoser and like they're always all that hilarious mm-hmm. so with that definitely i'll give it a watch i'll give it a a, a, a golden era watch uh yeah. 7.0 what do you think vibe yeah so i think it's a 7.7 oh wow okay I mean, I think there's a reason that we both have else right, shirts. Right. It is a classic. We didn't buy them together. You know, we just happened to both own the shirt. Sure. And I, it's... And before we ever even planned doing a oh, podcast. We've been, jo- yeah. we've been joking about this movie... For years. Forever. Oh, like 20 it, years. You, Robert and Douglas McKenzie, did kidnap one Pamela Elsinore. Well, wait a sec, eh? Like, we didn't do it. Yeah, that's right. We's innocent, eh? If you're innocent, then you have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so that says a lot about the movie, and I've seen it many times, and it's a movie that is extremely, obviously extremely rewatchable. I could watch that movie probably, without overdoing it, probably once every other year. Every couple of years, sure. Maybe yeah. every three for me. And, you know, I can't help it. Every time I watch it, laugh all the way through. Oh, yeah. It's not like, uh, oh, I shouldn't have seen this so soon. Or, I, you know, oh, no, 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 like, no. I could watch it again tomorrow and laugh again. Oh, at the same parts, too. Yeah, same parts. Because it's just so funny, yeah. It is just, uh, I, you know, I wouldn't be the first put it on that that soon. Right. But I, I would But if it's on, I'd watch it. I would it. enjoy it. If right. somebody else put it on, There's a I'd reason I bought the characters, it. too, for it. You know, it's just yeah. classic. It's classic. No, 
Let me say this though. Let's hear it. I say that every single episode. You do. Let me say that. You do. <laughs> That's gonna be your line. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get a, <laughs> uh, an always something shirt that says, uh, <laughs> "Let me say this." I liked it, but let me say this. <laughs> yeah. Rick Moranis. That was, in my opinion, his best. What about Ghostbusters? Well, let's go. What about Honey, I Shrek the Kids? Let, let me know this. So, 83 was Strange Brew. Yeah. That's what I I, I love. I, I laughed more from, about anything from him in that movie than anything else he's ever done. The ne next year was Ghostbusters. Oh, wow. Okay. Which I thought he did okay. He played his part. Yeah, he played his part. He wasn't a main character. Nothing or special, nothing even compared to Strange Brew. And then Little Shop of Horrors, then Space Oh, wait, that, let's pump the brakes right there. Yeah. Space Balls was amazing. Spaceballs was very. Oh, good. that's one of my favorite. He movies. He wasn't my favorite in that movie, but he did an incredible job, and he was very funny in that movie. He was very, very good in that movie, and then he got married and had kids. Well, that's what all and comedians his entire do. Trajectory changed. That's what all comedians he do. Did, he did Parenthood, Honey Shrunk the Kids, Flintstones, oh, Little Giant, Big Bully. He just got into all the family movies, and then yeah. he's, then he quit. He had this, you know. His, well, I believe his, his wife, wife died. His wife died. Yeah, he had to raise his kids, and he, he kind of kids. He backed out. I mean, yeah, and he's a great props. Yeah, he, yeah, he's a great person, and got out of acting so he could raise it, be a single parent to his kids. That's awesome. So, yeah. but yeah, I mean, that was, in my opinion, Strange Brew was his absolute best by a long shot. And then okay, I'm gonna say Spaceballs. Went down from there, I'm gonna say Spaceballs was the best, but okay. I, I, we, we can disagree. I understand that friends can disagree. I, I, I think just a little bit less of you, not a lot. You know? <laughs> yeah. Right, what about you? What's your rating? You're... I'm gonna I'm gonna come in 7.5 because I believe it's super rewatchable. So many good quotes. Even the storyline it has a uh, you know lots of plot points and stuff in between. You know the uh, the graphics were amazing. Yeah, <laughs> for graphics, the time. Yeah, uh, the lasers. <laughs> No, the music, everything was, you know, made it something I feel like I could go back to almost every year and watch it and get a kick out of it. So, yeah, 7.5. All right. Well, there I, you have it. That's a good uh, good rating for that movie. There you have it. Seven, I agree with that. Yeah, so we'll, we'll average seven. it out around 7.3. You know, it's you saying a 7.0? Yeah. You can do better. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I just didn't think about it too much, but... There are a lot of funny parts, but again, the the middle of it being so boring is just what drags you know, it down for me. Last thing I want to say about that movie, you know, the uh, Bob and Doug, where do they? This is a quiz for you, by the way. Where do they say they work for? They're like, who are you guys? This is in the hospital. Well, when nurse walks up to them and says, "Oh, the Department of Justice," <laughs> we're, we're adjusting the beds. We're adjusting. The, we're from the Department of Justice. We're adjusting the beds. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Oh, uh, we're from the Department of Justice, and we're adjusting the beds. Uh, Oh man! And did you notice how that Claude, that uh, her uncle, you know, the bad guy, the the bad guy, yeah, um, he casually just kills that guy. In yeah, the hospital. that was so weird. <laughs> he was like in that room. That the guy started. Oh, they're like, oh, doctor, and he's like, oh, and he kills the guy. Yeah, <laughs> and then just and he like folds that thing down over his face. Yeah, oh, well, uh, they're like, what'd you give him? He's like, oh, well, oh it's, it's just the thing, a hyper, the thing. hypodermic needle. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, that was that was over. And he was just talking about how he didn't want to ever kill anyone, but yeah. he said. He's like, like, apparently like, he didn't kill the, yeah. the dad. He's like, oh, I only killed him after he killed him. Yeah, like, mm. you killed him first. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right let's get on. All right, anyways, all right, so yeah. let's finish this off with the, this will be a much shorter part. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, we're gonna talk about spies like Ice us. White Shut. No, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> spies like us. Uh, so spies like us, uh, a movie with uh, Dan Aykroyd and uh, Chevy. Oh, so che before we get into that, speaking of Dan Aykroyd, they were they actually had a second. Strange Brew. Well, he's on, a Canadian too. On the books in uh night in the nineties. What? They were supposed to have a second one called Homebrew. Oh, and it's about Dan, man, be... Dan Aykroyd was a salesperson. No way. And we tried to get Doug and Bob get into homebrews. Wow. Really. Yeah. That could have been that something. That was supposed to be a whole new thing. Homebrew. That could have that. been something. Yeah. But uh, that's a shame. Yeah, funding didn't happen. Mm. See Hollywood, man. I know. It, Bunch who of knows stiffs. what we missed? Who knows what we missed? Bunch of old gray but stiffies. That you know? far in, I already know where Rick Moranis was and stuff like that. Like it's when he's yeah, mm -hmm, he's that's yeah. in his in the nineties. Yeah, that's he gave up acting. That's kind of like the end. Of it's the right, career. yeah, when he started doing the whole family yep. shtick. It just was not. He, uh, maybe he could have pulled it off, but I mean, look at Tom Cruise. He's still making bangers. You know. Well, he's yeah. a different type, but. Dan right. Aykroyd was, you know, at the. But that would have been good, Dan Aykroyd, and you know, and them. Yeah. I mean, who knows how that? Who knows? We'll never know. Yeah. We can imagine it though. All right. All right. So, spies like us, Chevy Chase. Uh, it's going to be uh, Dan Aykroyd. They're they work for the government. Um, they get somewhat tricked into 
becoming spot. They're both like just, you know, regular old workers, desk and workers, bottom feeders, desk so jockeys, speak. as they say. And government. Uh, yep. And uh, they get the government needs two people to basically get off. And uh, they, they keep, both failed their tests. They keep sending people over, but they're dying. So they need to. They need some decoys mm -hmm. that will take the death, and so their other two can actually mm -hmm. not die. Yeah, they're trying to get rid of like a, a nuclear weapon that mm -hmm. the Russians have. This is, of course, during the big Cold War era. This is another '80s movie, mm -hmm. and uh, so they they have one team going to dismantle the bomb or get rid of the bomb, and the second team is the decoy team that's supposed to be blundering and get mm -hmm. caught up. So the Russians look at them and not the other ones. And of course, yeah. in in proper movie fashion, they uh they stumble and bumble their way out of danger constantly they go right into danger but then get out of it mm -hmm. uh, by pretending to be doctors and you know thinking on their feet and somehow running yeah. driving away from russians that are shooting at their crappy little jeep <laughs> like there's they just get out of all the situations and mm -hmm. of course one of the main guys get uh, in the in the main team uh gets killed and they run into the, the other person and uh, for the second time and end up saving the day you know of course. hashtag spoilers of course. uh but then you find out like weird things like it was actually makes it more believable that there's so there's this secret sect of the, of the government that was intentionally wanted the nuclear missile to get fired so they could test their new weapon to no, blow it out in space. No, that's realistic. Yeah. So they intentionally <laughs> they had the bumbling spies, yeah. Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase, uh, fire the missile out. They even codes to fire the missile and they. They didn't know what they're doing. They're just punching in the numbers that they're, they're being told to do, mm -hmm. and they fire the missile off and send it straight to uh to uh the U.S. to blow up in the middle of you know start World War Three basically, and the whole thing was supposed to be blown up in space, but their weapon misfires. It missed it, and uh, it's basically headed straight for the U.S. That's going to blow everyone up. And then luckily, you know, quick thinking on their feet, they turn it around, blow it up in space. Everyone's happy. Mm -hmm. uh, you find out to the Russians were, you know. Uh, I don't know what the, the the way it's split at the very end. Like so, everyone they think, well, we're, we have forty five minutes. We're all gonna die. Everyone, on, you know, the World War Three is about to start. And uh, Chevy Chase was. Oh, here's a, so here's the thing about this. It, trust me, listen, <laughs> people at home, listen. That it, it it'll work. I'll, I'll make this fit. Okay, Chevy Chase for whatever reason, in every single movie he does back then was like, you know how they say like, oh, you're a male chauvinist pig. I mean, he was over the top. Like, he's, like, grabbing the girl's breast and stuff. Like, right at the yeah. very beginning, he's pretending to be a doctor. Yeah. And he's, like, just grabs right under her boob. And she's, like, attracted to him, or at least pretending to be because she's right. a spy, too. Um, but then he's, like, he grabs both of her boobs and stuff and, like, just over the top. Like, yeah. what is this guy doing? You know, it's, like. Yeah, his whole thing, his whole career was like that during that yeah. period of time. Oh, yeah. He's, like, grabbing girls' butts and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. just. Man, of course, this... it's written into the script that way. Right. Course. And so... it, this was the 80s back when that Did was like. Did he write the script? <laughs> By chance? It makes you wonder if he had some in <laughs> Or if that was ad-libbed, you know. Everyone yeah. knows. Oh, so I it's like a big time if he had, thing had in Hollywood that. that Chevy Chase was very hard to work with. Yeah. Like that's, he's, yeah. A lot of people have said yeah, he's, he improvised a lot of those scenes. Well, I have no doubt. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised he didn't get canceled. But if he was acting oh, today. Nowadays. Oh, I'd be canceled three times over. Yeah. You know, that guy'd be so canceled. Mm -hmm. Well, that's probably why he hasn't worked much in the last. Well, Andy's getting old. Him but... and Bill Murray, that whole Bill thing. Murray, he does anything he wants. Wait yeah. a minute, are you saying it's okay for Bill Murray to do it? And... Well, I think get... Bill Murray wouldn't have to do it. It'd be he'd just open up his hands and boobs would be in him. Everyone loves Bill Murray. Yeah. You know, that's just the way it works. Bill Murray's like basically as close as to a god of Hollywood at, at this point in his career. Where he could literally do anything. Like, you've heard all the crazy stories about Bill, Bill Murray, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, he, like goes, he showed yeah. up at a bar. I think it was in Wisconsin or something. Some crap like that. He just shows up at this bar. because he's random stuff yeah, like that. Just yeah. walks in. And everyone, Drops of pennies. course, it's Bill Murray. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, it's Bill Murray. He's, he just walks behind the bar. And he's like, hey, do you mind if I bartend? And the bartender's like, well, you're Bill Murray. Of course not. So he mm -hmm. lets him be the bartender. And everyone's ordering drinks. So like, oh, I'll take a Long Island I can't remember what drink he kept serving everyone, but he's just giving them like straight vodka and stuff. Like he would, <laughs> he wasn't even mixing drinks. Yeah, he's just like putting stuff in a cup and handing it out. <laughs> That's Funny thing it's, is, he could just, regardless of what he does, he could just say, "Here's some money to the restaurant." Even, oh yeah. Even if they did want some money back for all the product right. that was in, they, he could just say, "Here's a bunch of money." I'm going to have fun tonight. I'm right. going to do, I'm yeah. gonna give people whatever I want to give them and mix the drinks. Right. And that's, yeah, I'm, I'm he, sure. And he has fun with it. It'd be weird to go it. through life just like 
Yeah, do but he's also you want but you never do. hear any negative things. About no, it's him, all really, it's all good stuff. It. Like, oh, yeah. like there's another time a story like there's there's this whole YouTube th- video of like crazy Bill Murray stories. But like he like went into a, a restaurant and like someone ordered food and he just walked in and he took it from him. And they're like, <laughs> they're like, like, oh, can can I tell people or whatever? And he's like, he, his whole thing was like, he's like, you can tell people that Bill Murray just stole your dinner and no one's going to believe you. <laughs> like, yeah, out. I think I heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one will believe you. Yeah. And, Randomly, like, washing dishes in a restaurant. Yeah, he just, cr- just, like, yeah, but it's all, not, like, not yeah. crazy. Like, not, he doesn't go and yeah, grab his girl's hooters anybody. and stuff. You know, he just, right. he's just having fun with life. Yeah. And yeah. Where Chevy Chase was just kind of a jerk and, you know, grabbing hooters of mm-hmm. people that didn't want it and, you know, being hard work. He's on Community. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I saw his Community with him on there. Yeah, and he got, I yeah. guess they fired him because he's so hard to work with. Like he's just a crazy. Jerk. Yeah. It's weird so. that he never changed. He was just always that way. I guess. I'm, well, I think, got a big ego from. Oh, I'm sure. Well, if people and, tolerate it and like encourage it or whatever. Yeah, I'm sure it was just, just over the top. Oh, yeah. And that being said, so Spies Like Us was yeah. not a good movie. Um, I remember it being funnier. I only saw it one other time when I was younger. I thought it was more slapstick, more humorous. And a lot of it, I mean, it wasn't even really funny. There's a couple of funny scenes like. Like, uh, it kind of reminded me a little bit of, like, Three Amigos kind of humor, where, uh, of course, Chevy Chase was in that. And mm-hmm. That was a great movie, by the way. Yeah. But in this one, there's, like, uh, there's like a bird tweeting or something in the air. And, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, Dan, Ar- <laughs> like, it, Chevy Chase is like, oh, what what kind of bird is that? And, and Dan Aykroyd goes, oh, that's a dick fur. And he's, he goes, what's a dick fur? He goes, taking a piss or something like that. Yeah. It's just, like, they tried to, like... The, the whole thing is they're, they're, the two characters are from two completely different worlds. Yeah. And the way that they made them bond, it just, there was no reason for the bonding. You know, like they're just thrown together. Yeah. And like Chevy Chase was like cheating on a test. Oh, yeah. They were and very Dan Eckward was a very, played the straight totally character. Totally different people. Yeah. He, he played had like no a, reason to help him on the test. Right. But he oh, did no. anyway. He did, yeah. Yeah. Right. It's just like, why? I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. It's like, why are you helping him? But this time when I saw it, I thought, you know, I, I see what type of character Dan Eckward is. Right. Like, why is he even bothering yeah, with this? That's I didn't he, get it. Why would he not be annoyed with that guy yeah. at that particular time? I feel like there might have been more on the like cutting room floor or something, that yeah. explaining why they're friends. But it, the way the movie's cut now, unless there's some secret director's <laughs> cut, they were literally just thrown together. Chevy Chase was trying to cheat on his test, and he got Dan Aykroyd in trouble because whatever, and yeah. it was just dumb. It's like they both failed the test because yeah. of that. And I mean, it's it just... a funny scene. I mean, it was it was funny. It was funny, but. It got it, so exaggerated. Right. Like, they dressed up as aliens with Christmas lights just, on. Yeah, it was were, so... were they Christmas lights to trick the Russians to make the Russians not shoot them? They dressed like yeah. aliens and came down. And, like, th- for whatever reason, the Russians are like, oh, they start shooting at them and they pretend they died. Yeah. How do they not get shot? There's so much that just didn't make well, sense. Chevy, Chevy Chase has the same style in, like, flet, kind of flesh lips, which are Yeah, which is, time. Okay. as this I remember, movie. that was an okay movie. I can't really Lampoon. remember. Yeah, he's the same in every movie. Lampoons. He has the same type of comedy in all of those movies. He's like the overly cocky, Yeah, like just very serious, overly cocky. Little joke. He makes all these little jokes that, in this movie, it, I don't think it worked. So in this movie, no. I think that he does the same comedy that he usually does. And in some movies, like Lampoons, for example, it works great. Because right. it's a funny movie, right? But in this movie, it, with the Soviets, and he's in, the, you know, doing all this stuff on these bases and all that, with the military, and he's making the same jokes, and it's just not it doesn't the work. Right, no, the, the other characters around and the the environment, it just doesn't work. It's like here's a it's just so, not funny. here's another part. So this is one of the reasons I, the movie just didn't make sense. For example, they get like a week, a couple days worth of training. Then they're, they're on an airplane. They're like, "Oh, we're, they're not going to make us jump out of the airplane." Then they throw them out of the airplane. Mm-hmm. They somehow learn how to parachute down. It's not that easy, mm-hmm. as we all can attest. You know, <laughs> we all jumped out of a plane, and it's yeah. not the easiest. I'm, I'm sure if we were just thrown out, we probably wouldn't land where we wanted to land. You right. know, on not being trained. So, anyways, they land in the middle of a forest at night, mm-hmm. and they, they're immediately surrounded by ninjas. Ninjas, yeah. Who like, are chopping down trees with their swords. Right. Some, Why? Some, <laughs> and then, like, the drill sergeant guy comes out, and he's like, oh, the, you know, I was like, this is what you should have done. And he beats up all of his own ninjas. That was hilarious. Yeah. What the heck is going on? Yeah. Like, why yeah. is he beating up his own guys? <laughs> I thought about that, too. I was like. just didn't make sense. It was funny, though. <laughs> was it? You I sure laughed. about that? <laughs> I, I laughed. I laughed. I, I, I was. Yeah, I mean, there were par- definitely parts that I thought, I wonder if I'd laugh at this if I was with. Different right. people. The only time I really remember chuckling at the whole movie was mm-hmm. the part where uh, they're doing surgery, 
And, yeah, uh, that was great. They fake being doctors because they're being, you know, yeah. they're, they basically got arrested by you know, like the Afghans or something, and they tri- they tricked like, their way oh, to being are you doctors. Guys the doctors. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. we're yeah. the doctors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the whole doctor, doctor good. This doctor, guy needs doctor. surgery. Okay, yeah. to save so they, his life. Yeah, right. so they go and like Dan Aykroyd's like the book nerd. So he's like, uh, Chevy Chase basically says his hands are broke, so he can't do it. Mm-hmm. And so he makes Dan Aykroyd. He's like, well, but he can do I it. I can talk him through it. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like throwing him under the bus. Yeah. Dude. So he yeah. keeps like reaching, like reading the book as he's doing the surgery and stuff. And like he's about to open up his yeah. heart, and all like, the doctors like. Like, why are you doing it up there? Yeah. He's like, I wasn't cut it. Did I yeah. look? Did I was look looking like, for a spot. Does it look like I cut anything yet? I was checking his his <laughs> breastbone to make sure it was yeah. secure. Like, do you think I cut? Did you see me cut into his chest? Did I cut his chest? I was probing to determine muscle tone and skeletal girth. It's a new technique. And then he looks in the book again, and yeah, and then like he, he moves his going, knife to a different spot yeah. and looks at the doctor. Two doctors are like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he like does the right spot. And they're yeah. like, <laughs> and then like it, sh- it just shows him walk out after that. Oh, he dies. The no, guy, the guy, just the guy died, yeah. Like, just dies immediately without even being cut. And yeah. so they walk out. They're like, well, you know, we did the best we could. Yeah. They're, like, walking out. And, you know, of course, yeah. like, everyone blames them for killing him. And, right. You know, whatever. So uh, when they're walking out, I thought that part was just kind of, they're like, ah, oh, another successful surgery. <laughs> so, and they're just kind of, like, talking to themselves as they're quickly yeah. walking out. <laughs> and it's just, I th- thought that was a humorous part. But the rest of it is just yeah. kind of, like, not very humorous. Although, I will say the Russian chick in it. Well... Which is another thing that's like kind of so fake. Like, oh, it's such saw, a dumb part. Is that accurate or what? Why are they, what do they have these models playing these like Russian? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm like, come on. Nuclear like missile. Yeah, like, I mean, but it's, a, it's a comedy, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but. it is a comedy, but it wasn't very funny. And the, the way right. it was just put together, it wasn't like a, it was almost not even a comedy. It's like a something comedy, not a dramedy, but like a. Yeah, what? Right. Dry, I know what you mean. Dry comedy. Yeah, it's not like a slapstick. It wasn't. Humorous. It almost tried to tell a story, and it, it tried to force your face of how like the government is a bunch of a holes. Which, hey, man, I'll buy in. I'll buy into that. <laughs> you know, you got me there. I'm, I'm with you. But the way it just tried to force feed comedy into that, it just didn't work. It reminded me. me a lot, honestly. Like I said before, it reminded me a lot of Fletch. Actually, did it? Because Fletch, he has the same comedy. He plays a lot of like, um, because he's he kind of goes, uh. Kind of in disguise to do different things. Oh, because he's like a reporter, right? Yeah, he's a reporter. Yeah. And, uh, An and he kind of, so it kind of reminds me of that he's like pretending to do something. He's got that same comedy all the way through. And in that in that movie, it worked. But yeah. In this one, I just don't think it right. worked. Like I said, I, I felt like they they just tried to force the message too much. His character was kind of a jerk. Like I said, he's like molesting women and stuff. It's just like, <laughs> it's just like come on, man. Like, it's, it's just too As much. As a white knight over here. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Uh, yeah. it, I, but I, we all agree we didn't like it that much. Uh, that being said, time for the ratings. And um, I've seen that just to you know give some background. Yeah. I've seen that movie a few times growing up uh, through my childhood. I saw it like maybe five years ago again. How'd you feel about it then? Same as I would do you now. say you had a good childhood? Amazing childhood. Is there anything you'd go back and change? I would have moved out of Illinois <laughs> earlier, but anyway. But then you wouldn't have met me, and this whole thing would have happened. So well, that's true, everything I mean. happens for a reason. Okay, all right. Years of suffering in the cold. Yep. For a reason. Man, it's always something. It's always so, something. So now we just, let's get into the rating. Yeah, let's huh? rate it. Um, I'm gonna give it. A, I literally just came up with this number right now. I, I closed my eyes. All right, on three. <laughs> everything one. blinked out. <laughs> everything blinked out, and I can't. A number just appeared to me. Okay, and I'm. I feel that number fits. I'm going to shoot from the hip. Five point six. Mm. Yeah. Harsh, in my opinion. Yeah, I was actually. Well, here's the thing: if you look at it in this full spectrum, and this is the issue here, and this the p- video game reviewers do this all the time. I, wa- I watch a lot of video game reviewers, and they're always either too high or too low, and never in the middle. They're scared to yeah. be in the middle, or they're scared to p- be too mm-hmm. low because sometimes they get paid too much money and they can't say it's in the middle. Mm. And other times, you know, it's like this. If I oh, gave people. a seven to Strange Brew. This is no way, nowhere even near. And I looked at the full spectrum. I get zero through ten are very important. You know, it's not just sevens, not just threes. You know, and it wasn't yeah. a three. A three would be a bad movie. Like a two is really bad. A one's oh, obviously yeah. awful, unwatchable. Three's pretty bad. Four is mm, and the pretty reason, bad. Reason Five popular people do that. Like, you know, is though it, it's. People like to hear that you love or hate something. Right, exactly. People don't want to say, oh, it was okay. Yeah. It's not fun. But it's this not, movie uh, was the epitome of okay to me. It, it was. Just, I agree. Literally, if you look at the entire scale of things, if you look at from from a 1 to 10, 
five would be okay. It's not yeah. bad. Five's not a terrible movie, but See? if you think, oh, it's a five, it sounds bad. But five is right in the middle, and that's what this movie is. It's a hat because there's a couple funny situations. It's flicked over of better on the, on the better side. It's not bad. I wasn't bored, yeah. but it did take me two nights to watch it because I fell asleep at the, towards the end. Mm-hmm. I had to rewatch the ending. Falling asleep again was it? Well, I was watching it in bed. Strange Brew Willow. <laughs> I've never fallen asleep. <laughs> this guy's a list. liar. <laughs> and I'm, there's a lawsuit pending. Liar and a thief. Right? <laughs> liar and thief. About being a five <laughs> point. Six. Yeah. My final answer. I my my score that I had. Let's hear it. I've been bouncing back and forth with but like a ping pong ball. Yeah. And I'm just gonna go with five point eight. Oh, you just gotta be better than me. Yeah. Yeah. I go six. You go. Well, it can't be seven. It's gotta be eight. Yeah. Well, just trying we to agree, happier disagree. life. They are very close. Trying to make everything better. Yeah. We're very close. I, even if I am more right than you on this one. Yeah. Let's see if Andy can figure this one out. I wish you would have had headphones on, like not the wolves ones, but like noise canceling ones. So he could come into it yeah. raw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you know this guy's See, numbers that's why I, are I think, all over the place. I think we should have this stuff written down. That way, if there's any debate, we just show. I was saying go you know, hey, Sometimes, one, though. Because I think it, it, it does get manipulated Sometimes. A well, it does. It does. And I totally admit. Or there are times where you guys will say, like, for Strange Brew, for yeah. example, I start second-guessing my seven. Well, I was like, if, there, it, I mean, I have the shirt. Like, maybe it is better than I'm thinking. You but know? When it's you like, an, yeah, but when you hear explanations behind why... Oh, it, mo- it motivates think, you. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's like a politician being on the podium. It's just like, <laughs> you know, it's like, well, you know. Yeah. Maybe abortions are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah. saying that's a joke, guys. Jeez, just yeah. chill. Oh, political stuff in this stuff. I All know. Right. All right, going on. My turn? Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it... You're stringing the crap out of that. Spies animal. like us, I'm going to so give it a 6.5. Five. It's a little higher than maybe expected. You like it that much? It's I, I mean, enjoyed it. So here's like the thing. Here's the thing. Rating, but I mean, it's I understand part of that. the thing. I was going through my memory banks. I haven't seen it in years, but I remember enjoying it thoroughly. And what did I remember? Just the rapport between the two characters, kind of like Strange Brew. They had such a good rapport with one another. Their uh, their jokes, the timing, the way that they were kind of playing off one another. In the midst of a kind of sketchy storyline, which wasn't super great, but also, mm-hmm. you know, it was enough to like take me along the ride. I was like, let's go, let's, you know, see where this goes. Yeah. The scenes weren't super great, um, but I did enjoy it. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like that second city or improv comedy. Basically, I feel like some of these movies are just written on like these two characters. We got Chevy Chase, we got Dan Aykroyd. Let's put them together to kind of see what happens. Kind of like Strange Brew, like just it happens to work out sometimes. Yeah. They've been together in a bunch of movies. Let's do I mean, another I mean, one. I would just say it, it was a lot like Strange Brew, but worse on every single. Yeah, every single one thing. point worse. Just one, so, just one notch. Let's agree like. to disagree, man. <laughs> I mean, Caleb was more closer on this one. I mean, he was wrong too, but only by point two. You're off by a full point. You know what's weird is that Strange Brew is probably older than Spies Like Us. They're pretty close. Spies like us. Similar. Eighty five. Yeah. Okay. Couple so years. Couple Fifty years. Years. Yeah. It's older, and yet somehow it's stood the test of time better than Spies Like Us because I remember really enjoying that movie. Well, look at here's an example of that. Look at Star Wars. The original is what 78, 79? 77. 77. 77. Yeah, I know that because our friend Patrick Reed Johnson. Patrick Reed. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I know that. Yeah. yeah. So Star Wars, the original one, nineteen seventy seven. And anyone past, you know, in the 2000s era, like, forgettable. I mean, come on. How many times have you watched Star Wars? How many times have you seen the new ones? Well, it's the same thing. It's just the yeah, story. I blame, I blame Disney for that. I'm going to jump on that bandwagon. But That's uh, that's a story for another time. Another time. Yeah, because yeah, we're getting a little long in the yeah, tooth here. Are. But anyways. Some movies hold up over time. Some yeah. movies don't. Strange Brew was great. Uh, Spies, Spies Like, like Us. is a, It's if you don't got time in your day, honestly, I totally understand. Do you think you'll ever watch Spies Like Us again? Never again. No, I, I really. I think I've seen I could it care enough for my life. Even if it's on TV and I was just like watching no. it in passing, there's no memorable part that makes me ever want to watch it the again. The surgery scene was pretty good, though. I wouldn't but avoid it. Was the movie, okay. But I would never put it on. Right. Yeah. If, so, if people said they want to watch it, I would sit and watch it with them, but. Only because I'm a good. Friend. Oh, I'd be on my phone, yeah, <laughs> but I'd be on my phone the whole time, you know. Yeah, like, I'd be on my phone. Facebook and <laughs> like a good you know, friend, checking yeah. my MySpace, you know, yeah. trying to get in someone's top eight. 
Yeah, right? sure. That's always the goal. Yeah. If you're not in the top eight, especially if you're in the top, top four. Oh, yeah. So all the kids at home probably don't remember that. But let's just say I, I was in everyone's top eight. So. Me and Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it for us for this one. Uh, we're going to do... Uh, as you can tell by the Christmas attire, uh, every single week we're going to add one more theme to the background somewhere. So there might be more Christmas things. And if you guys can spot it and be the first one in the comments, you're going to win uh, a donut. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know about a donut. That's kind of expensive. You know, I don't know if we can send a donut that Fair far enough. out. Ship a stale donut. <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind a stale donut, yeah, I'll ship a stale. We'll donut. even smash it and put in an envelope, <laughs> <laughs> so so shipping's cheaper. <laughs> we'll sign it too. We'll sign. We'll sign a smashed up stale donut and send it to you. Caleb will wear it in his pocket for at least a day. Oh, <laughs> man. pocket donut. Terrible. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna come out uh, more decorations, uh, and with that, probably more Christmas themes. I think since now, yeah, judging by my watch, it looks like it's just about December. Um, it will be December by the time you December. watch this. And let's just say Christmas themes. We we're trying to think of what to watch because we want, don't want to do the same crap that everyone does. Uh, but at the same time, we do want to watch some Christmas movies. And if we're going to watch them, we might as well talk about them. So take that as you will. If you guys know of a hidden gem that you just, we got to talk about that. It doesn't get enough respect. Yeah. Toss it in the comments. We will check it out, especially if it's like a movie that no one's seen. Like if it's like a B side, man, that's what we want. That's what we want. We want yeah, something we want those, yeah. something we haven't seen, something mm -hmm. fun, you know. It's hidden gems. Yeah, we gotta put some put Absolutely. the that riz on it. Is that what the kids say now these days? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so gotta well, riz them up. Riz them up. Yeah. So, anyways, if you know of a good movie, let us know. We'll check it out. Uh, with Definitely. that being said, uh, we're gonna let this one go. Um, and as always, we're a growing channel. I know it sounds like a broken record, but come on, we're. We were rising up the ranks. You know, we're almost number one on the podcast channels and it's dipped down a little bit. Maybe our last episodes yeah. weren't so great. It kind of hurts to hear, but tell us why in the comments. That actually helps us. So mm -hmm. like and subscribe. What do you do? Subscribe. You should try. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe, please. Mm -hmm. If you if you like the con the stuff, you know, that helps us. Even if you don't want to send us money. It's fine. Tell, we don't want your ding money. Yeah, we don't want your money. We just want the we want a view. We want to hear from you. you we know? want donuts too. So if you're on the live stream. Don't be shy. Send yeah. us a donut. Oh, and we do Snapchat every time. We do that live every time we film. And we have an after party. So if you guys like the channel, like what we're saying, we jump into an after party every time we talk about what we're going to do the next uh, episode. On TikTok, not Snapchat. TikTok, no. Yeah. And we might, this guy might be on Snapchat. Else. He might be <laughs> sending pics or something. Oh. <laughs> well, you're, okay. you're getting something. Yeah, it. you'll and be it's not something. just, let's just say it's not just a donut in my pocket. <laughs> Not a long john. <laughs> Is that a donut in your pocket? You're happy to see me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, Pat. Is that a banana in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> no, it's a banana. Uh.